I am here with Brian O'Halloran. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Ah, my pleasure. So, now you're in Clerks, Clerks 2, you're in heaps of things, but so Clerks was black and white, but Clerks 2 wasn't. Why not keep it going black and white? You know what it was? We didn't, we didn't choose black and white for an artistic reason. We did it because we were broke and we were borrowing a lot of money. So, uh, to film in black and white was a lot cheaper. You didn't need a lighting package. You didn't need to color correct anything. And it was a way to shoot quickly and cheaply. And you know, by the time we did Mallrats, Clerks 2, you know, all that, we had financial backing and studios ready to follow us. So that's kind of a thing that we did. Um, so now, when people talk about directors who love writing meaty dialogue and who are good at it, the first person that people think of is Quentin. But I think of Kevin Smith, especially with the short film of the um, flying car, that was amazing. So how much of the dialogue is Kevin's written work and how much is improvised? Uh, a good 98% of it is Kevin's written word. He's, he's extremely good at what he does, which is writing and directing. And so when we first started out, it was like you had to say word for word, otherwise it was cut, let's do it again, like we wrote. So. You know, when people say like Quentin and Kevin, you know, even David Mamet back in the day, that, that was the quintessential, very verbose, kind of very eclectic type of writing. And uh, I enjoy, as an actor, you always want really great writing. Simple writing is never, is never fun to do, while Kevin's depth of writing is always great. So Clerks was shot at night. How was that for you? Did you get tired during the days or were you able to manage it? No, we, uh, we definitely all had real day jobs. So I worked a nine to five day job. I would go home, sleep until about 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night, get up, shower, shave, go down, get something to eat, drive the hour down to where the store was. We'd start filming between like 11 at night to like 5, 5.30 in the morning, because then we'd have to help Kevin set the store up to open at 6 a.m. for all the commuters. So it was 23 days of that. And then we did two weekends for daylight out exterior shots. And it was a drain. As a matter of fact, I always point out, there's the scene where Dante leaves to go get changed for his date with Caitlin, and he comes back, and I'm sniffling like crazy because I had caught a cold from just that kind of running around all, all that night. So, looking through Kevin's work, he's definitely changed a lot nowadays as a filmmaker to back then. So, with Clerks 3, do you think it will go back to how he was back then, or do you think it's going to be his new style that he seems to be going with? You know what it is? I, I've been fortunate enough to read the third script about a year and a half ago, and it is an amalgamation of everything that he's become as a writer and a director. It's beautifully written. It's characters that he's been writing for, for now over 22 years, so he knows how to, that voice that he hears those characters in. So the fact that he's gone on to do some kind of horror comedy type of genre films is a really testament to what he is as a, as a writer and a director. And now he's been directing episodic work for The Flash, and now he's going to be directing an episode of Supergirl, so I think now that we're going to do Mallrats, the TV series, which will be 10, from what I've been told, 10 one-hour episodes, we'll see how he is with the writing then because now we'll be able to stretch things out over 10 episodes. So with Mallrats, it was filmed in a real mall, yeah. right? So how did that work? What it was was a brand new mall in uh, Minnetonka, Minnesota, the Eden Prairie Mall. Now all they had really in there was like the four anchor stores, which are the big department stores, and then like maybe about a dozen smaller stores in the mall. The rest was all waiting to be rented. So we were able to go in there, once again, film at night while the mall was closed, and uh, take over different storefronts for different reasons. One whole storefront was nothing but dressing rooms. Another one was wardrobe. Another one was camera department. You know, so it was, that, it was a great feeling. And we had come from no budget of clerks now to this real movie budget with Universal Studios and real actors like Shannon Doherty at the time and Michael Rooker and, and Ben Affleck, who you know wasn't Ben Affleck at the time, but still, uh, it was definitely a huge leap from where we came from. Um, so, one actor that uh, is known in the VSQ universe, Alan Rickman, has since passed. Now, for fans it was devastating, but for you who got to be in a movie with him, what was that like for you? Um, it was uh, it was devastating just as much. Uh, I remember I'm being on set of, of Dogma, I was having issues with certain lines and I'd have to take a cut and Alan was watching the scenes at the time which kind of made me nervous as well. But I remember him pulling me aside and saying, hey mate, it happens to the best of us. And it kind of reassured me like, oh my god, Alan Rickman, you know, Hans Gruber just said everything's cool, you know what I mean? And to my mind it was really good meeting him. He's a lot shorter in person than I saw him when we would do uh, when uh, they did uh, 
you know, a diehard, but a very a wonderful gentleman, and I've loved his work and everything that he done. So, um, a new biopic has just come out, yeah. Shooting Clerks. Have you seen it? No, no. It uh, premieres this weekend down at the Orlando Film Festival in Orlando, Florida, this weekend. Uh, I'll be seeing it when it premieres the New Jersey premiere in a couple of weeks. Do you know much about it? Do you know how close it is to what really happened, or have they over-exaggerated it? I, I remember them doing their research and doing interviews with us over Skype and over the phone, and I'm sure it's very close to what's going on. The scenes that I did, because I portray... Uh, Bob and Harvey Weinstein and who bought the film from Miramax we have our version of it as well I played Bob Weinstein in the movie and knowing the story how it really was and seeing how it's going to be it'll be it'll be interesting to see how they came out nice so um, Kevin did an auction where he auctioned off a whole lot of his props and stuff before that did you get to take something before the auction uh, usually I try to grab stuff before the film's done and usually I talk with production going, hey, man, I'd love to keep this or that. And so I have a few things from a few of the productions that I've worked with. Yeah. What have you got? Oh, I don't want to say a lot because I don't want my house to be burglarized, to be honest with you. But I have some good stuff. I mean, the one thing that I've, uh, I've talked about already, the original, all my own clothes was what I used in the original Clerks. So I own all that. So I still have everything that I wore in Clerks. And there's a few things from uh, Clerks, too, I have. There's one or two things from Mallrats I got. Jane, Silent Bob, I have, like, cartons of cigarettes from the store that you know the fake ones things like that nice all right well um so is there anything coming up that we can see you in in the future uh the next thing for me uh there's a movie that's playing the film festivals right now called bad frank it's a suspense thriller with tom sizemore i play a low-level drug dealer in that that's pretty that's pretty hardcore um another film that i'll be working on that has been finished they're doing uh special effects on is hindsight 2020 it's like a post-apocalyptic thriller that takes place in the united states uh then we start shooting mall rats the tv series hopefully by 2018 uh we have clerks three and then there's a show i shot last month called uh fireball run it's a uh, automotive uh, adventure series uh 2000 mile road rally eight days we shot uh that'll be on amazon prime channel by this spring i believe Nice. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. Tyler, 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 Tyler. and Luke. Woohoo! <laughs>